Welcome to an example on how to use the method of undetermined coefficients to find a particular solution to a linear second order non-homogeneous differential equation. Which means we're looking for a particular solution to a differential equation that fits this form here. And we saw from our previous lesson that the general solution to this differential equation would fit this form here given by y of x where c sub one y sub one plus c sub two y sub two would come from the general solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation and big Y sub P is a particular solution. So for this example, we're only focusing on finding big Y sub P a particular solution. I do have other examples of finding the entire general solution. So to find our particular solution using the method of undetermined coefficients, we'll start by guessing the form of a particular solution to our differential equation with undetermined coefficients based upon our function g of x. Then with our guess and its derivatives, we'll perform substitution into the differential equation and then solve for the undetermined coefficients to find the particular solution. So let's take a look at our example. The first thing we should recognize is that we have a linear second order non-homogeneous differential equation and because g of x or the function on the right consists of either a polynomial function, exponential function, or sines and cosines, the method of undetermined coefficients is an appropriate strategy. So the first thing we want to do is guess a form of the particular solution, and because g of x is equal to sine two x, we might be thinking that big Y sub p, our particular solution, could just be some constant a times sine two x. But the problem with this is that the derivative of sine also involves cosine, so our particular solution could also contain cosine two x. So we're also going to include plus a constant b times cosine two x. So now we'll find the first and second derivative and perform substitution into the differential equation. So big Y sub p prime would be equal to a times the derivative of sine two x, which would be cosine two x times two, so we'd have two a cosine two x, and then plus b times the derivative of cosine two x, which would be negative sine two x times two, so we'll have minus two b sine two x, and now we'll find the second derivative. So here we're going to have two a times negative sine two x times two, or negative four a, sine two x, and then minus two b times the derivative of sine two x, which would be cosine two x times two, so we'll have minus four b cosine two x. And now we'll perform substitution into the differential equation. So we'll have y double prime first, which will be negative four a sine two x, minus four b cosine two x plus y prime two a cosine two x minus two b sine two x minus y which is a sine two x plus b cosine two x and this must equal sine two x, but because we have cosines on the left as well, let's go ahead and write this as zero cosine two x, and then plus one sine two x. And now we're going to equate the coefficients, which means we'll group the cosine functions, and then we'll group the sine functions, and set the coefficients equal to each other. So notice there are one, two, three cosine functions, and there are one, two, three sine functions. Let's focus on the cosine functions first, and we're going to factor out cosine two x. So notice how we would have negative four b plus two a, and then minus b times cosine two x, I just noticed there should be one more parenthesis here. 
And now looking at just the sine functions, again we're going to factor out sine 2x. So we'll have plus negative 4a minus 2b and then this would be minus a times sine 2x must equal 0 cosine 2x plus 1 sine 2x. Now focusing on the coefficients, we can form a system of equations. Here we have negative 4b plus 2a minus b must equal 0 and negative 4a minus 2b minus a must be equal to positive 1. So let's go ahead and write that out. Well here we do have two like terms, so we can also say that negative 5b plus 2a must equal 0. And here we have two like terms as well. We would have negative 5a minus 2b equals 1. So now we'll take these two equations to the next slide, solve it as a system of equations, and then once we find the values of a and b, we'll substitute them back into big Y sub p to find our particular solution. Let's go ahead and change the order of these first two terms in the first equation. Let's go ahead and write this as 2a minus 5b equals zero. We'll leave this the same so we have the a terms and b terms lined up. Looking at the a terms, notice how they're already opposite signs. So if we wanted to use the elimination method or the addition method, we could multiply the first equation by five and the second equation by two. That would give us positive 10a here and negative 10a here. So if we added the equations together, it would eliminate the a terms. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll multiply this first equation by five and the second equation by two. So we'll have 10a minus 25b equals zero. And here we'll have negative 10a minus 4b equals two. And now if we add these equations together, notice how the a terms are opposites. That would be zero. So we have negative 29b equals positive two. Divide both sides by negative 29 and we can see that b is equal to negative two twenty-ninths. Now we need to go back and find the value of a. We're taking a look at this first equation here. If we solve this for two a, notice that two a must be equal to five times b. So we would have two a equals five, or five over one, times negative two twenty-ninths, which would be negative ten twenty-ninths. So if we have two a equals negative ten twenty-ninths, we can multiply both sides by one-half. We have a equals, this simplifies nicely, negative five twenty-ninths. Now that we have the value of a and the value of b, we'll perform substitution here for a and here for b to find our particular solution. The particular solution, big Y sub P of X, is equal to A times sine two X, or negative five twenty-ninths sine two X, and then B is negative two twenty-ninths, so minus two twenty-ninths times cosine two X. And that's going to do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.